Hey everyone, so I'm on a roll and I thought I'd do a, another tag. And this is my I Heart Fall tag. And I originally wanted to do the um, Fall Loves tag that was going around last year, but I think this is pretty much the same one. They just changed the name. So uh, it probably has a few different questions. So yeah, let's just get started. And like my last tag, I just have my have the questions on a sheet of paper. So number one, favorite fall lip product. Well, for the fall, I absolutely love burgundy uh, plum shades for the lips. And um, I just picked up for this fall um, the Color Burst Lip Butter in Sugar Plum. And it's a beautiful plum color. And I'm wearing it on my lips right now, underneath Clinique's A Different Grape. And they're a similar colors, it's just this one's a lot sheer and glossier because that's the uh, lip butter consistency. And um, yeah, really love it. And I also love that it doesn't have any uh, uh, big particles of shimmer because some of the lip butters can, but I don't like that. So, really been enjoying that. And number two, Favorite fall nail polish? Well, as you know, if you've watched my videos, I've been raving, and uh, even on my Twitter, I posted a picture of um, <laughs> of Rimmel's um, English Rose, and I have it right here. And it's a really beautiful uh, rosy uh, pink shade, and it's really great for that transition from fall, uh, from summer into fall. But I've actually, um, on my nails, I have uh, Revlon's uh, Fall Mood, which is a beautiful coppery color, golden coppery color. And it's just, it has nice fine particles of shimmer. And it may just uh, take the place uh, of my favorite, nail, favorite fall nail polish. So we'll see. I'll have to keep you guys informed on that. And, uh, okay, so number three, favorite Starbucks fall drink. I don't go to Starbucks that often, uh, just because I see it as a luxury. Um, but when I do go in the fall, I really love the pumpkin spiced latte. And, um, yeah, I just love the spices. And it's, I don't think I've only had it warm out. I think I know that you can get it in a frappe form or cold form, but I've only had it warm so I really love that. And number four, favorite fall candle. Well, I absolutely love fall, uh, fall. I love apple <laughs> fragrances for the fall. And my favorite candle by far is the Slackening Co. Autumn Apple Scented Candle. And as you can tell, I've pretty much used it up and um, this is the second candle I've purchased. I've, um, I got them from Bath and Body Works because they uh, sell Slacken and Co. candles. Um, and last year, when I bought this candle, um, there were hardly any left. I think this was like the last one or the next to last one. And the year before, there were plenty around the time that I bought them. Um, so this year I've tried to track this baby down and I can't get a hold of it anywhere. So if you know where I can get my hands on one of these, let me know uh, in the comments down below. So, number five, favorite fall scarf or accessory. Well, I'm wearing it right now. It's my uh, leopard print. Uh, scarf from Target. I got it uh, just this year and I've been looking around for uh, a few years trying to find a good uh, kind of leopard animal print scarf and I finally decided to go for this one and I really love it. So number six, haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted corn maze. Well, I've never been on any or been to any haunted attractions. I was pretty sheltered as a kid. My mom was very protective of anything that might scare me or give me nightmares, uh, including attractions like those. So um, that's kind of carried over my adult life. I haven't ever been to any. I have never been to any. And um, 
I have been to a regular on a hay, regular hayride before, and I love that. So if I had to pick, I think I'd go with the haunted hayride. So number seven, favorite Halloween movie, Hocus Pocus, of course. Um, growing up, I had it's gonna be so embarrassing. I had a huge, huge crush on Omri Katz, who plays Max Dennison, I think. Shows you how many times I've watched the movie. Um, he plays Max in the uh, in the movie, and um, yeah, I also really love Bette Midler's character as the as one of the witches. She's just absolutely hilarious. And number eight, fat favorite Halloween candy to eat. favorite candy to eat for Halloween. I just can't talk today. Um, my favorite Halloween candy is. Um, I pretty much love anything chocolatey because any time of the year I love chocolate. Um, so in particular I love how Reese's comes out with, uh, they do this on the holidays not just on um, Halloween but for Halloween they have little uh, pumpkin shaped uh, Reese's cups and I absolutely love those because it seems like those have a lot more of the peanut butter in them than the regular um, Reese's Cups, so I absolutely love that. And if I had to pick a uh, non-chocolate related or non-chocolate candy, I would have to say candy corn. I actually uh, got a bag about a week ago and I went through it in just a matter of like two or three days. Like I just ate it all up. Loved it. So let's see. Number nine. Are, what are you dressing up for? How... What are you dressing up for, up as for Halloween? I think I typed this wrong. <laughs> um, I will probably be a uh, vampire. I um, have the costume, so I'm, I'm not planning on going anywhere for Halloween. So it depends. If I have somewhere to go, probably I have a vampire costume that I've had for a few years now that I'll probably wear. And um, yeah, but. Um, if I could pick any costume that um, I would want to dress as, I'd probably go as a belly dancer because I've wanted to be a belly dancer for years now. It's just really hard finding um, a good belly dancer's costume that doesn't look cheap, um, but at the same time doesn't cost like $200 because sometimes with really good costumes, they are so expensive. And unfortunately, I can't sew. And that kind of, if, if I could sew, it would probably be a lot easier. So if you know of any good, um, relatively cheap belly dancer costumes also, you might want to leave that down below comments. So number 10, what's your favorite thing about fall? Well, my absolute favorite thing about fall is the changing of the leaves, the colors in the trees. And uh, I actually grew up in an area that really didn't have much of a fall. It went from uh, summer and it was warm all the way up until winter. And it just, there was really no fall and there certainly was no um, changing of the leaves. And so now where I'm at, um, there there is all the nice foliage outside and the changing colors. And so I really love it. And yeah. That's my, uh, that's all the questions and uh, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing about fall is and I'll see you guys later. Bye.